welcome to Screenplay, where we discuss elements of pop culture for the community. I'm your host, Noah Bailey. Joining me in the studio today will be our music editor, Sam Case, and our returning guest, Nadia Adams. We will also have a submitted video review from our producer, Haley Cummings. First, we'll be talking with Sam Case, who reviewed the music group, The Neighborhood. So, Sam... Tell me about The Neighborhood. I've never heard of them before. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, they're like one of my favorite bands. Mm -hmm. um, they have one full-length album. It's called I Love You. I think it was released a couple years ago. And then they actually just released, um, it's called like a mixtape album. And they have mm -hmm. like a lot of hip-hop influences on it, which is really cool because they're usually alternative. Okay. So they change up their sound a lot. They're really, really good. Very cool. <laughs> How long have they been around? Um, I think they formed like... I want to say like 2011 or 12, but they didn't release their first full length mm -hmm. until, until 2013. Okay. They're from like the LA area, so okay. where a lot of bands are from. So Figures, yes, absolutely. So with changing up their sound like they do, like you said, like every album or quite a bit, um, do you think that that is good as in that that can like grab more people, fr like, you know, more fans, or do you think some people stop listening to them? Um, no, I think that the fans that they've had since the beginning are fine with it and will stick with it because mm -hmm. they're one of those bands that kind of like to push and test what they can do, where a lot of other, other bands just like to stick in like the narrow niche that they are. And uh -huh. I like that they kind of break through it and it always works out. So Very cool. Yes. That's awesome. It's kind of cool that they can't be like classified. Yeah. Um, so are these, uh, is the neighborhood something that we can expect to be like on the radio? Or? They've been on, I know like for satellite, they're on like the alt alternative, especially all nation, that station a lot. Like they've had a couple singles, like their one sweater weather was fairly popular. You might've even heard it. I did that's hear that. that. Yeah. Is that it's a good so song. that's like okay, very That was cool. like their first hit single from their full length. So. Okay. So they're not like a, a one hit one. No. Okay. <laughs> so what are some of their other singles that we might like really enjoy for like people that just want to check them out? Um that one's good and I really like the song Afraid and then the song Female Robbery is really good too. Okay. Awesome. Well, you heard it here. If you want to check out the neighborhood, I would suggest checking out a couple of those singles. I know I will. <laughs> um, next, we'll be talking with Nadia Adams, who reviewed the TV series Empire. How's it going, Nadia? It's good. It's good. So, the TV series Empire, it's a new series that premiered yeah. this fall, correct? Uh, this spring. This, this spring? Okay, <laughs> cool. But they're already on their season finale, which is tonight. You uh, said? The season finale already happened. Oh, was, it, it already last, happened. It was last Wednesday. It was last Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, sorry about that. <laughs> um, tell us about uh, what Empire is about, because I don't think a lot mm -hmm. of people really know. Yeah. Empire is about um, a man named Lucius Lyon. He's the father of the whole family. He has three sons, um, Jamal, Hakeem, and Andre. And they are all being coached like under him because he's dying from ALS mm -hmm. and he wants one of them to eventually take over the company. And so all of the sons have different things that they deal with. Like the oldest son has um, bipolar disorder. Mm -hmm. So the show talks a lot about mental health. And then um, the middle son is gay. So they talk a lot about just accepting who you are and it can be difficult for your family to accept that too. Mm -hmm. So, and plus he's the most musically talented out of all the sons, so he's very popular in his music. And so it just um, goes through how the family battles through their issues. And so Lucius's ex-wife, um, who is played by Taraji P. Henson, she comes back after 17 years of being in prison. Oh wow. To claim her stake in the company oh gosh and so she's yes yeah, so she's really like ready to do whatever she can to claim her part in the company so she tries to get rid of lucius's um new wife uh-huh and so they end up teaming together at the end to come against lucius because uh -huh. he has betrayed his ex-wife by Obviously, she spent 17 years in prison. She's he's moved on without her, and he kills her cousin, which is like oh, a wow. big shocker to her. <laughs> so, and she doesn't even know. So, and, Gosh. The, and Lucius definitely gets um, his karma. <laughs> that sounds crazy. Well, uh, thank you so much yeah. for sharing. Um, Empire sounds like a very dramatic and interesting <laughs> show. 
Uh, and they film in Chicago, so chances are you're probably in the Chicagoland area if you're watching screenplay. So uh, that's kind of something nifty. Um, if you'd like to read the full review of The Neighborhood and Empire, as well as our other reviews, you can find them at auspartnews.com. So now we have a video submission, this time from our producer Haley Cummings, who attended the Geneva Film Festival earlier this month. Let's take a look. The 8th Annual Geneva Film Festival was held March 12th through 14th at Shodin Dotson Place in Geneva. This year had one of the biggest turnouts, both in filmmakers and attendees. Uh, this year alone we had, we, uh, had submissions from 22 different countries around the world. Twelve of those countries actually made it into the festival. We have people here from, um, originally from Armenia, Poland, um, across the pond and from England. Um, as well as around the United States. It is true that the festival is growing. Screening rooms were packed with viewers, some even having to sit on the floor or stand. Since the festival doesn't have a set location each year, it's a bit of a toss-up as to how much room there will be. Hopefully, the large turnout this year will get more venues interested for the future. The festival has a lot of interesting draws, starting off with a student night where you can get a discount on admission by showing a school ID. I attended the Filmmakers Roundtable discussion on the morning of the 14th, where curious minds could talk with the festival filmmakers and get a good idea of what went into the films they were seeing. Be like, did we get room tone? Because no one's called room tone at all, which is getting the sound of the quiet room so that you can fill it in between so to cut out truck noises and things like that. Um, so we didn't get room time. <laughs> we really didn't get room time. The filmmakers were great to talk to. The whole experience was exciting for all of them and they shared that enthusiasm with everyone who was interested. They had words of wisdom for filmmakers who are hoping to submit their own work into film festivals in the future. Any aspiring filmmakers, you know, there's a lot of people out there who want to do creative projects. Just put the idea out there, post it, and you'd be surprised who answers. Make the movie that you want to make, and don't 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 listen to the naysayers. Just do it. There's no point in making something and uh, you know not showing it to anyone. A lot of the people running the festival are volunteers from the community, and the festival is always looking for volunteers. Come join us. It's you'll meet so many people. I mean, I was just talking to filmmakers from Britain, from Poland. It's just it's unbelievable how many people come to this thing. So definitely, we can use the help. The Geneva Film Festival is a great opportunity to experience a film festival environment that is still close to home. The festival attracts filmmakers from across the country and from other countries as well. Films range from long and short, to narrative and documentary, to live action and animation. This year was my first at the festival, but it definitely won't be my last. Alright, now it's time to move on to screen time. In this segment, pop culture topics will be chosen from our pool of submissions and we'll have a short amount of time to talk about them, 60 seconds to be exact. When the time is up, the topic gets thrown out and we move on to the next chosen submission. Alright, here we go. Oh boy. Um, Pretty Little Liars. Does anybody watch that? Yes, I do. Oh, you do? I'm a little embarrassed, but I like it. <laughs> do you? I've watched it before, but not continuously. Okay, what is what I is the seen deal with A? I haven't the finale yet, so I can't. Oh, you haven't? No one say it? if they know. But what is the deal with A? Because I see people post about it on social media constantly, and I'm just like, who that? Apparently you find out in the season finale, which I haven't seen Wait, yet, really? So do I haven't you? talked to anyone. I don't know. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> but it probably really is an A because every season's finale they like say someone they think is A and then it ends up not being A. Interesting. Yeah, like the show like sucks because uh -huh. like it makes me mad, but like I can't stop watching it. I <laughs> saw because I have a good friend who's obsessed with it. She uh, she like retweeted something on Twitter about how it's not 
who A is that it's important. It's yeah. why A is that's important. Oh. And I'm like, what does that mean? I just keep hearing that the end, like the episode was good, but the ending was like stupid. Like who A is, like is dumb. But I don't know. I just really need to see it. Now. Okay. I'm like so curious. I've been hearing about it all day. Oh gosh. So it's all over Facebook and stuff. So <laughs> all right. Well, a lot about that. <laughs> maybe we'll see who A is. Who knows? All right. Insurgent. Can we throw this one out, please? I saw it. Yeah. You okay, saw Dumb just, Surgeon? No, it was so good. Are you sure? Yeah, I just like them. Okay, I didn't even read the books. I just uh-huh. like the movies. Why do you like it? I'm just curious. Do you like them not even? I don't know. Is that with... Um, it's Shailene, Shailene Woodley. Woodley. Shailene? I like Shailene what? Woodley. Maybe that's why. She's a good okay. actress. You like her? Is that yeah. why? Okay. Why did you call it Dumb Surgeon? Because I just feel like... This is my opinion, obviously. I just <laughs> no, I feel it's like fine. it's... I don't know. It just, I saw the first one, and it seemed like it was an original plot. No, wait, an unoriginal plot with, like, a unique spin. Mm -hmm. I just think it was poorly executed. The second one was way better. Like, the special really? effects I heard were, like, amazing. Really? Yeah. I thought it was better. Interesting. Did you see both of them, Nadia? No. No? <laughs> have, you, have you seen any of them? No. No, you haven't? <laughs> I don't know. Do you like Shaylee Woodley? Is that how Shailene you, Woodley. Shailene. Yeah. It, Shailene. <laughs> I was thinking of someone else, but oh, <laughs> she was like the the uh, secret life of the I never even teenage oh, she's American, the American the girl teenager yeah teenager girl. that one oh okay I don't know. <laughs> Lady Gaga gets engaged. Let's talk about this. <laughs> okay, um, I love her. <laughs> me too. Yeah. And her fiance. I thought her ring was gorgeous. It looked really big. I don't like that it's a heart. I like that. She I thought it was must cute. have. I don't know. I thought it was cute. Yeah. Yeah. It looked yeah. expensive. Okay. So who's the guy? <laughs> um, he's in Chicago Fire, which I used to watch. Oh, is he but really? Not anymore. Yeah. Oh wow. So he's like a. So he's in the public eye. Yeah. He's an actor. Okay. That's interesting. But apparently, she's like always in Chicago because I film in Chicago. So I want to go down there and like find her and just like <laughs> walk around and be Stalk like, her. oh, Lady Gaga. Yeah. It's funny, huh? I don't know. Do you think it'll last? They seem like they really so. they like each like other. They seem like they will. They've so, been together yeah. for a while. Oh, they have? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Like, I just thought she was always, like, single for a long time. I don't know. Yeah. So, will this hopefully, like, inspire some kind of new album? I don't know, but she needs to make new music. She, I don't care what inspires she it. She really does. I just <laughs> feel like it's not going to be as dark or weird anymore because she's like, I'm in love. <laughs> I don't know. Love yeah. makes you boring, I guess. I don't it know. really does. I don't know. Um, the Aurora Borealis Film Festival. Anybody know about that? No. I mean, I'm entering it, but if that's okay, if that's the only <laughs> thing. Lady Gaga on the new season of American Horror Story. I'm okay with still talking about this, if you guys are. Um, Nadia's like, please pick another topic. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I mean, I don't watch the show anymore, but I oh, like her. Okay, so maybe I'll know. watch it if she's on it. Yeah. I've only seen the first season, so. Okay, see, I had a theory that, like, they're making her seem like she's going to headline oh, or, yeah. like, replace Jessica Lange. Which, by the way, is super sad that the queen is not on the show anymore. But, um, I feel like they're just going to kill her off within, like, two episodes. Probably. Like they did with, uh, Twisty. Everyone dies on that show. It's so. true. It's true. Do you watch American Horror Story? No. No? <laughs> Gosh, I don't know. It's I heard a lot of good things television. about it, but it, yeah, I might check it out. Yeah? Yeah. I cool. Might. You, you should. It's, like, on Netflix, okay. the first three seasons. Okay. Yeah, it's by the same guy who wrote Glee. But it's, like, nothing. But it's nothing alike. And Glee mm. just, like, ended. Yeah, I don't watch Glee. Neither do I, but I just, <laughs> I find it interesting. Let's not talk about that one. I don't think we'll. Taylor Swift. Boo. Boo, I know, right? Let's sorry, I don't like No, her. neither you do like I. Her, sorry. I don't understand the whole thing. with She, like, bought, like, porn domain names huh? or something. Did you hear about that? No. I heard, I saw a headline or something. Why? Like that. I don't know. I didn't click on any of this stuff because I'm just like, <laughs> Taylor Swift, well, do you why keep would she your. Buy it? I have no clue. Is she going to be on it? Like, what? Oh, no. I, I don't, don't think it. she's going to be she on that? it, but uh, that's a great question. <laughs> it's a great question. I don't know. Are you a fan of Taylor Swift? Um, I did like some of her mm -hmm. earlier music. Earlier stuff. Um, but I think her direction changing from country to. Pop. pop like she's all pop now like she, no country she like came out and said like i've decided to like go to pop or whatever now mm -hmm. her last album though she's been on pop red, for a while from what, what i've was, heard was like 22 she yeah exactly the one that had like 22 and everything yeah i don't know <laughs> i thought she was pop before that 
Um, all right, well, that's all the time that we have for today. Thank you, Sam and Nadia, for being on the show today. And uh, also thank you for Haley for her submission. For those of you watching, if you have a topic you want to submit to us or something you would like us to review, mention AU Spartan Media on Twitter or use the hashtag AU Screenplay. I'm your host, Noah Bailey. We'll be back again next time with more pop culture reviews. See you later.